I'm Julian Whitaker, MD, here again with another Whitaker Wellness Tip. Now, this segment contains important information on the most common treatment for type 2 diabetes, and I hope you'll pass it on to everyone you know who is dealing with this increasingly common condition. Let's talk about oral diabetes drugs. If you've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, you most likely have been prescribed a medication. Yes, these drugs do lower the blood sugar, but they have a long, long list of side effects. They increase the risk of hypoglycemia or dangerously low blood sugar. Most of them cause weight gain, an average of 5 to 10 pounds, which makes blood sugar control all the more difficult. And some of them, including Avandia, Actose, Glyburide, and Glipizide, have black box warnings, the most serious type of drug label warnings, stating that they increase the risk of heart attacks and cardiovascular death. Furthermore, people end up taking more than one medication, which puts them at even greater risk of harm. Now ask yourself, if a drug increases your risk of dying, and it says so on the box, why would your doctor prescribe it? And more importantly, why would you take it? What we do at Whitaker Wellness is stop all oral diabetic drugs and start our patients on a diet, exercise, and weight loss program along with vanadyl sulfate, berberine, chromium, cinnamon, and other safe, natural, blood sugar-lowering therapies. People are often resistant to the idea of discontinuing their medications at first. After all, they've been told for years that drugs are absolutely necessary. But as their blood sugar goes down and stabilizes over time, they understand the wisdom of our approach. To learn more about the Whitaker Wellness Institute's drug-free approach to managing diabetes type 2, visit the diabetes section under Health Concerns at our website, whitakerwellness.com. And remember, pass this to others who may benefit from this information. I'm Julian Whitaker, MD, wishing you the best on your quest for optimal health.